Seriously though guys, these granola bars are out of this world. Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna be making some granola bars and I'm gonna show you how we got from this to this. In reality, it went from this to this. I'm not a clean cook. Today, I'm gonna be making some homemade granola bars. So I used to make these like all the time and then for some reason I got lazy and just stopped making them. I think I have all the ingredients. Well first, okay. I'm gonna get my hair ready. My hair gets literally everywhere so I gotta tie it back. Let's go. So first I need to preheat the oven. Hot. That is hot as hell. Holy balls. And baking sheets. So much. Two to two and a half. Only both. What else? Nuts. How much nuts? Half cup nuts. You know, I really like nuts. We're gonna do full cup nuts. Yeah, man. So then those will go in the oven. Honey, butter, brown sugar to small saucepan. So I got myself a small saucepan here. Fourth cup honey. Honey bunny. Moly, this is gonna take like four hours. It is half full. <laughs> Still going, folks. Yeah. And now it's like inside the thing. Okay. There's a hair in the honey. <laughs> Promise of the bear. Thank you, Mr. Bear. You have served your time. The reason these granola bars are so dang good. Ah. Butter, brown sugar. How much brown sugar do I need? Make sure that shit is packed. We're just waiting now. Seriously though, guys, these granola bars are out, are out, out of this world. Seriously though guys, these granola bars are out of this world. Oh, beeps. All right, so the oats are in the oven, the pecans are in the oven, and my butter, brown sugar, uh, honey concoction is in the saucepan heating up. You know, don't you know. No? You want me to be done with the oats puns? Mm. I am out of ideas anyway, so. Sorry about the minor weight, y'all. So while you were gone, I put in some vanilla extract for yummy, yummy vanilla taste. I also put in some salt mm, for yummy, yummy salty taste. Roast them up. So some of my mix-ins that I got, check these out. So these are, wow. Me, focus on the Reese's. So these are like, they were in the baking aisle and they are Reese's, like minis and Reese's pieces, all in a bag. So as you would assume, I got two bags of them. Got butterscotch morsels. Oh. The oats are done, guys. <laughs> I'm not a clean cook. Um. Clean. And then I'm gonna add this amazing mixture. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so then the next step is adding 
all of our lovely mix-ins, but we do have to wait like uh, like 15 minutes for it to cool. All right, I am back, and it has been like, I don't know, like 25 minutes. And now I'm gonna add my mix-ins. So let's take a look at these actually. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try the other side. So it is just a mixed bag of Reese's Pieces and little Reese's Minis. In you go! So many oats on the floor. Now let's mix these bad boys together. Oh boy. Oh, oh baby. Oh. So now I need a spoon. A spoon work. And then we let them chill for two hours. So I'm just gonna leave those bad boys there. <laughs> 